Now, a retired teacher suing the school board because they discriminated against her clinical fear of children. Plus, an ex-porn star caught teaching in the classroom gets the boot. My legal team of legal eagles joins me now, attorney Adam Swickle and Fox News legal analyst Lise Wheel. Lise, I want to start with Cincinnati story, and this is a case where a woman says, she, yes, I'm a teacher, but I also have a fear of, of kids. Right. What's going to happen with it? She's suing over it. This, this case is going to be thrown out. In fact, three parts of it have already been thrown out at the federal level. And Jerry, what she's saying is that after many years, decades in fact, of teaching in the high school level, that she was being demoted down to the middle school level, and all of a sudden she developed what's called pedophobia, a fear of children. Now, I've got a couple children of my own. I understand that they can be little devils, but um, I don't think that a, a teacher over many years is going to prevail on a case like that. And here's the doctor's note. Here's what he said. She was unable to control her blood pressure, which was so high at Times that it posed a stroke risk. The mental anguish suffered by Walter Willard is serious uh, and of a nature that no responsible person could be expected to endure the same. Adam, what are you going to do here? I mean, should this woman prevail? I mean, isn't she just out to get money, like uh, the uh, 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 attorney for the school district said? No, I completely disagree. As a matter of fact, I think she has a very good claim, a claim which has survived. Of the three counts or the other counts which were dismissed, this was not one that was dismissed. She has an, a legitimate ailment. She has a legitimate complaint. And here's an individual that they didn't even try to place in another area of the school. What they basically did was retaliate against her because she <laughs> made some comments to some parents. No, what That's they were, essentially she's maintaining, what's going for sure. on here. They, the, the retaliation was, was such that, no, they didn't retaliate. They didn't fire her, but they had fewer kids in the high school. They had more kids coming into the middle school. They had fewer, de, much less demand for the French program. She was teaching French. And so they said, hey, you've got to go where the need is and where we can keep the program alive. And that's in the middle school. That's, that's not put, retaliation. They put, Adam? They put her exactly where they knew that she was going to have a problem. This is well documented, I think, going back to 1991. And let me ask you a question. If you have a teacher with arachnophobia, which is a fear of spiders, do you put them in a science class where there's spiders she's all over there? She's spiders. She's teaching French, and she's been teaching for decades at the high school level. Well, no, listen, Lise. Uh, but for different Adam children. She point. hasn't been teaching with the same people. Uh, Adam makes a good point. Uh, this teacher is maintaining that this was a calculated effort to squeeze her out of a job. She's now maintaining exactly. uh, age discrimination. Will this claim be successful? Well, she's 61 years old. The age discrimination of the American Disabilities Act, that could, you know, that there's some indicia that she's being um, retaliated against because of age. But because she doesn't like children, that kind of, to me, I hate to say it, Jerry, doesn't but like it makes a, she, she has a physical reaction. It, it makes a mockery of the American Disabilities Act. I mean, come on. There are a lot of people out there that really <laughs> are retaliated against and coming up with pedophobia. Yeah, yeah. Really rare. I can barely even pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about it's Tiffany Six. We got to get to the porn star, my friend. I mean, <laughs> so there's a story about this woman who was apparently in porn films and a teacher, and then once her students found out about this, she started lying about it. Now she's in big trouble. Adam, to you first. Uh, does her claim that she should keep her job does it have any merit? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, let's call Turkey. I mean, a turkey's a turkey here. This is basically the opinions. <laughs> this is basically the opinions of individuals who disagree with her morals. She was an excellent teacher. And let's face it, I think what we need to be concerned about here is what were these students doing in this particular position in order to find it? I've represented a lot of teachers before. DUIs, dis disorderly conducts, and we're talking about lying. The school board doesn't tell the parents that their students are being taught by teachers with Although DUI. they should. This isn't yeah, illegal. They absolutely but, should. But even if you take the porn star element out of it, which I know we don't want to do, but if you do, what, what really galls me is that she lied about it on her application, not just after she was found out, but on her application and before. She said, oh, you know, I was too embarrassed to bring it on on the application. So to me, it's not a morality issue. It's a, it's a lying issue on your application. Anything that you lie about, you're out. Adam? Well, what do, we, what do we do about the schools who don't tell the parents and don't tell the students about what the teacher's pass are? Now, all of a sudden, it matters what the past is. But isn't it that only matters because of what her it is. Shoulders. Isn't, exactly. Adam, isn't the responsibility on her shoulders to be honest about her work experience? I think the Such honesty is, is on everybody's shoulders. But in this particular situation, I don't think she did anything wrong. She, she didn't was put it in her resume. She, she didn't put it down. It was, it was her employment for a while.
And, exactly. and, if she, and, and there's a lot of people said. who don't put necessarily things down, but they don't get fired as a result of it. This is because of what the issue is and the you way it's, it's reflected upon people's ethics and morals. You think that the parents and the school district are just embarrassed and upset and they don't like the fact that she did this. But look, at the end of the day, don't they have a claim here? I mean, seriously. Do you, would She's you want your kids teacher. being taught by a porn star? I mean... Uh, let's face it. It's not that your children are being taught by a porn star. <laughs> Listen, no, she did I'm nothing illegal. I'm asking a serious question here, Adam. Would uh, you want your kids and, and being taught is, by I a think porn it is, star? I think it is a serious question. But yes, just because you engage in consensual uh, adults' sex in, in parts it's of not, your life doesn't mean that you're not qualified yeah. to teach students. <laughs> do you want to have your teacher? Do you want your students taught by somebody who lied on her application? Do I want? I'm sorry. Do I want my? Do my you want students your students taught? taught by somebody who lied on her application? I'm mean, not employment. answering our questions, my friend. Uh, I, just I don't think she it. outright lied. She I did. don't think this is a situation where she lied. Right. I think she did not disclose a complete That's... history of her work, which occurs on many people's applications. All right. I don't think this Please. is something she should be terminated about. Lisa, I'm going to ask you the same question. Would you want your children to be taught by a former porn star? No. All right, me either. Well, let me okay. ask you a question. Would you want your doctor to be? Would you want your lawyer to be? Would you want your president <laughs> or congressman to have a DUI? Do we not allow but this individual I, now to have a legitimate job? I think job? it's different when you're talking about teaching kids and setting a, you know, example. A, an example. Uh, it's a totally different kettle of fish, my friend. That's my Being view. You have your the view. Of the United Adam, States is an great example. job. <laughs> Appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure. I hope you'll come back soon. Lisa, always good to have you. Absolutely. Guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs>